اگر من چیز This is Upal Gangopadhyay from the Cypher Project, and uh, I go by the stage name of Weirdo. I'm here today to talk. You've about never been on the stage, bro. <laughs> today, I'm here to talk with one of the participants of this year's Rap Wars events, the main event, and introduce to you guys one M, A K Anand. Yeah, well, finalist. I would say participant, but it's it's all right. <laughs> What's up, man? So I'm cool. So what's up, man? Just chilling, man. Uh, looking forward to the event already. It's, yeah, it's about uh, five to six weeks away. So Anand, so player, uh, tell us about how you came to know about rap wars. So who introduced you to rap wars and most is, and even the broader sense to the rap scene and everything. How you came to know about this? Credit for this one. Um, <laughs> yeah, literally you though. Literally. So was that for real the first guy you knew in Kolkata? No, I mean, I knew Sizi, and then I added you through him, and then you got me into the ciphers every Sunday, which are great. You need to check those out when they have videos up. Um, yeah, and Sizi told me about the rap wars event that was coming up. I did that. How do you describe yourself? Who you are? Because you do battle rap, and you also make music. So, what's your preference? What do you really love? And tell us something about it. I definitely have a preference for music, man. Any day for music, for music, yeah, because that's the only way you can inspire people. And battle rap, I love it, but at the end of the day, it's like a gladiator sport. It's like MMA. You're just targeting and focusing on one person, and you're trying to bring them down. It's a lot of fun. Don't get me wrong, but at the end of the day, I'm here to talk about my stories and live yeah, that through music. Music, music yeah. That's sure. uh, how do you prepare yourself for battle rap, man? Like. How do you think about the punchlines? Or are you always thinking about the punchlines like every minute of the day? Or they just fall <laughs> off your head? <laughs> A bit of both. Like maybe not every minute of the day, but be random moments like I'm driving or just taking a shower and it's random. Some random. Also, oh, you're thought. taking a shit and just sorry. Yeah, yeah, man. I honestly, I'm like, I'm I've gotten right. the most punchlines while taking a shit. Like. <laughs> You can yell at it, man. Like there's, there's no other place that I've gotten as many punchlines. But yeah, I'm not always conscious. That's a lot of shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> but consciously trying to all the time. But yeah, yeah it just but comes to. But subconsciously, you're like doing that all the time. Yeah, man. Because I think it's because I've been writing for quite a while, and I'm just looking at different ways to, I guess, address topics. I've been working a bit on my freestyle, trying to get as good as most of you guys. I've been uh, looking up. We're not. I'm not gonna, you know, go hunting for backstories or anything. But if there's anything readily available, yeah, then yeah. then yeah. But I guess just in case you see something in a Facebook news page, you might as well use it. If it's right there for me to take, then yeah, why not? Yeah, everyone wants to buy it. And yeah, but just just make, mainly focusing on punchlines and trying to say and uh, use angles that haven't been said before. So, what do you think about the cipher project? I want like your views. I mean, for me personally, it's great to have a circle in Cal, because without that, I was just I didn't have that many people who shared that same love for hip hop, the culture in general, and rapping. And it's a very cohesive unit. Like everyone pushes the next person to yeah, like to go harder. Yeah, learning from each other. Yeah, for sure, man. Like with freestyling, with written verses. Yeah. And I'm sure as soon as somebody records a 16 or even like a full track, the first thing they do the next yeah. Sunday is yeah. show it to the rest of the group. So that way it really helps. And also, I think there's a lot of new guys coming up. Everything. Fuck what you think, man. Hopefully they stick with it. Yeah, you as well. Yeah. And you're like what three years or two years deep into this now? Yeah, like almost two and a half years. What's your what is your mindset while you're preparing for a rap battle, and what is your mindset when you're in the studio recording some shit? Okay, so I mean, you asked me about the connection first, and I feel like the connection is lyricism at the end of the day because lyricism. you have to be yeah you have to be creative with your words in, in either form. Um, and I suppose the difference is that I try to get in that more aggressive, maybe playfully aggressive, but still aggressive mindset when it's battling because. I want to take yeah, this person out. Yeah, because at the end of the day, it's, it's battle. The name is rap battle. So yeah, yeah. So the, that's what it is. Even if I'm trying sense. to make the crowd laugh, I yeah. still want that person to like, f 
like you know not want to get in the ring with me again yeah and whereas with music it depends on what i'm writing about it if it's uh, a memory that i'm pulling from then it might be a bit nostalgic it might be sad it yeah. it might be uh, just me reflecting upon myself yeah. so it just depends on that but on battle rap you're like always like i'm the coolest guy ever and i'll fucking diss you i don't think the first one is true necessarily <laughs> but but, uh, but you will fucking diss him but yeah man it, it helps that i'm a bit of an asshole so i <laughs> i find a lot of flaws with other people <laughs> so they give me ammunition i suppose think about the level of competitions that you have to be challenged with in rap wars um i'm not really sure man like the only guy i really know is val and i really hope he comes prepared because uh no honestly because he can really <laughs> fuck man <laughs> no nah, he can really flow on a mic and when he comes prepared he's dangerous yeah. and as for the rest of the guys i'm not too sure what to expect but so you're that's seeing not going to change my you, preparation at all have you checked the videos from the last year's events I, or the other b3 events maybe the other rap battle events that are taking place in india i have gone through a, a bit of b3 and there are some really nice punchlines do you think battle rap in today's scenario is a very relevant form of art like you don't see a lot of guys doing battle rap and may, and a lot of this hip hop artists like 90% of the hip hop artists they have given up the thing like i'm battling you i'm the toughest guy and most are making like chilled out music and everything a lot of people are doing that like it's not like the 90s that everyone's claiming i'm the most political and complex guy in the world it's definitely not like the 90s i think immortal technique uh, made a really good point he said back then if you won a tournament you get paid and now just for taking part in a battle you're getting paid yeah. but i mean in that regard it goes to show you the battle rap's grown a lot and even though most people aren't doing it i feel like it's still an important part of the hip hop culture not necessarily like you know hand in hand with music but it still adds a competitive edge that not other form most other forms don't and you get to focus on punchlines and you know character breakdowns yeah. and there's a lot of humor involved in it and there's a lot of history behind it as well as from day one like yeah yeah there's yeah, a lot of more battling as well it has because i think one of the reasons it started was to give you a creative outlet and yeah, a, a positive outlet man yeah, not without the gang violence without the gang don't violence don't be gangsters and, be rappers and even if, if even if you're not man if you have like something frustrating you in life you have a platform to just yeah. vent to go and vent yeah man let's go man wish you the very best